what's going on you filthy animals i'm benny speaks and real quick i want to point something out that i am let me brighten up my situation a little bit better first uh which light should i, I should go with it's a little lighter one lightning one oh now it kind of looks like i just got a oh, there we go kind of got a shadowy -ish fish shadowy -ish fish but um so I want to point something out real quick. Uh, let's see if I can switch it. Well, oh yeah, I can switch it out. Uh, check this out. Check this out. I commented on uh, Dax's new song. And he liked it. Oh, can I zoom into that? Can I zoom into that? I don't think, I, I don't know how to zoom into that. But yeah, like, I know it doesn't seem like a big deal, but like, I got a heart from, light, from Dax and that is a huge deal to me because I... He's like one of my favorite artists and all that jazz. Like I, oh my God, it's so freaking cool to me. Like the artist himself, like is like, hell yeah, I'll heart that. Like, fuck yeah, thank you, Dax. Like you didn't have to do that. Like, I don't know. Uh, all right, I'm getting too schoolgirlish giddy over that. Um, all right, so I'm doing a reaction to Sandbox 10. Uh, the 10 scariest viral videos in YouTube history. Let's see what they are. And let's see, uh, I don't know if they're gonna be... Well, we'll see if, we'll see if I get scared by them. Because most, most likely I know them, so it's probably not gonna be really that bad. Turn the lights down a little bit, change it a little bit to... I like the, I like the amber look. I like the amber look. Eh, do I like the amber look? Or do I like that look? What, what about lights off? I mean, that's dark, but you can still see me, right? You can still see me, so we'll, we'll do it with this. We'll do it like this. It's light up enough uh, you can see me, so uh, let's go jump into it like this. All right, because uh, the darker it is, like, my whole, like, it's really freaking dark. Like, I can't see anything to my right, which sucks because the way my home is. Oh, let me turn the lights back on. The way my home is is, uh... Like I got this big living room and I got this opening right to my right and uh, for a second I thought the the light thing the light dangling thing was swinging that freaked me out for a second but uh, there's that there's like a little corridor right here and it's like completely black over there it's completely dark anyways let's just let's just jump into it let's see what we got the 10 scariest viral videos in YouTube history Number 10. I know that one. Rubber Johnny. Rubber Johnny! Yeah! When the video that's... originally hit the internet in June. Everybody always thinks this is like, um... This is like one of my favorite... This is literally one of my favorite videos on YouTube. Like, for real. Like, I love showing people this video. Like, when, uh... Uh, let's turn the lights on real quick to discuss this. I'm sorry, like, I, I didn't expect it to be the- I didn't expect something like this to be the first thing. Yeah, it gets a little- it's a little creepy in the beginning and stuff. If you don't know what Rubber Johnny is, Rubber Johnny, I believe, was created by Ace Apex Twins. Uh, it's an old, um, electronic, uh, per- a person that creates electronic music, uh, techno-y, like, dubstep kind of music. He also has a, a really, really hilarious um, vi music video called uh, Window Liquor, <laughs> where like uh, all these like hot women turn into like his face and like it's it's really it's his music videos are a trip. I feel like his music videos are the most inventive music videos out there. Especially they also uh, he's also got Come to Daddy music video which is very inventive where like the creature comes out the tv and shit but rubber johnny is freaking everybody always thinks it's like some kind of horror thing but no it just it turns out looking kind of scary in the beginning and then it turns into an electronic stuff where he's like <laughs> so it's it's i don't know if it's gonna show that but june of 2005 what da, was supposed da, to be a 30 da, da. second promo for a music band became nah, a short nah. film about a deformed raver who lived in a basement with his pet. Practical makeup effects were combined with quick editing and night vision shots to make the whole thing seem disoriented so and trippy, inventive. weird, and surreal. Number 9. 
I... you know what you know what i'm gonna put the link in the description for rubber johnny like if you've never seen rubber johnny it's an experience everybody's got to see rubber johnny it's it's old it's and Apex Twins, I always loved Apex Twins. I don't know what happened to them. I haven't checked in to see if uh, they made anything new. They might have, and I just haven't been keeping up on it. But it's always they've always made some like pretty like some pretty dope electronic music. And I mean, consider I listen to like all music. Like I don't listen to just hip hop, just metal, just I, I listen to everything. I listen to country. I listen to it all because. <clears throat> I still, in my head, I just love art, and I like the different forms and different ways people express themselves. It's freaking brilliant. Um, anyways, so let's go on to Weird Mannequin Lady. Actually, nah, 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 nah. Let's go on to Weird Mannequin Feel Lady. Feels fantastic. The video featured robot called Tara the Android. The it's not a mannequin, it's an to android. Be the first android pop star. But the bizarre description on the YouTube references to artists who fell in love with their own creations. The video eventually gave rise to several online urban legends. Okay. Number 8. Fallen Angel in Catalonia. Accumulating millions of views since its upload <laughs> in 2006, the video featured two people as they entered a forest outside the town of Camp de Vignol, Spain. Uh, then come. Th this was in 2006? Because I could have sworn I've seen like people recently putting this on their. Um, I could have sworn I've been seeing people recently put this on their. Um, their top like the people that do the scary videos because sworn i saw this on one of them recently i'm across some large feathers in the woods finally they pan over to what looks like a man with open wounds on his and back looks over and, looks and then everybody them, just runs a reflection in his eyes yeah somebody did this uh through this in one of our top tens or top fives or something recently i don't know if it was my last reaction video i did might have been i don't know So grainy. Speaking of grainy, I, I, I was looking. <laughs> I was looking at um, who was it? Uh, oh, it's King Frostmare. I was looking at his uh, his newest upload that he came out with. I was looking at his comments just to see like if there was anything hype going on in the video. <laughs> see somebody post i'm glad somebody recorded this uh what was it on a point uh, 0 0.5 k uh, potato or something like that <laughs> shit had me rolling dude yeah oh, i'm glad i got my voice back man that's trippy that looks over. It's like I'm trying to sleep, bro. Hey, va, corre, corre, yo, tía, va. Numbers. I just farted. I'm not sure if it uh, showed up on my mic, but we'll find out because I'm not going to edit it out. Anyways. Seven. Real demons caught on oh, tape. Oh, this is not even a YouTube video. This is from, um, uh, wasn't this from, uh, the paranormal... Paranormal Activity, yeah. I believe this is from Paranormal Activity. Like, one of them. One of the movies from Paranormal Activity this came from. But the, I gotta say, the effects on this are freaking brilliant, dude. This looks so freaking cool. Uploaded by Chester Tyler 714 in 2009. Real Demons Caught on Tape is a special effects showcase of an incredible CGI skill level. This the is incredible. The views that the video has accumulated since means more than enough people were willing to go along with the creepiness all the way to the denouement hey, little baby the arms on there. <clears throat> Dude, this was so fucking well done. Like, this is the kind of shit I wish I could do. 
Like, I want to learn how to do animation. I want to learn, like, I, I just have this thing in me. Well, not thing in me, but like, I just, I always want to learn everything. I'm just always so curious about everything, which is why everybody keeps telling me to start a podcast. Like everybody's like, start a podcast, start a podcast, but it doesn't happen overnight. That's something I need more equipment for. I need, uh, I need, um, more clear stuff. I, there's, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it and I want to, I want to start it out on the best note I can, you know? Um, but like, I do want to learn how to animate stuff, do stuff like this. I want to learn how to make actual animations, like like little cartoon animations and stuff, and maybe do my own animations. There's, I just want to learn everything, <laughs> and I feel like I, like I, I, life is so short, I won't get the chance to learn everything. But I'm still gonna try my hardest to learn everything. Anyways, let's jump into this. Look at, look at how how brilliant this is. Number it's six, so freaking cool. Hearst Kleenex commercial. A Japanese facial tissue commercial that makes no sense as an advertisement, but it's also supposedly cursed. Watch the video by yourself at midnight and tell us what happens. It's almost midnight. Nah, it's 2.40. I mean, 10.40. How's this cursed? And how's this creepy? Number five. That wasn't creepy at all. Elisa Lamb video. The haunting final moments of Elisa Lamb, captured in January 2013, of the Canadian uh, university she, student at the infamous Cecil Hotel in Los Angeles. She hit Angeles. all the the things. What's happening? I don't get it. Is something gonna happen to her? Why is the door not closing though? That's my thing. Number four. That was lost in dumb. the catacombs of Paris. Oh. Footage of someone lost in the subterranean stone tunnels of the Paris catacombs. Listen. I, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, this the, uh, there was also a movie that like had this kind of. I think it was called uh, As Above, So Below, or something. Like that. As Above and Below. Or something like that. There was a, there's a, it's on Netflix, and it's actually pretty well done. That movie too. I actually like that movie. That one. I. But uh, they, they also had a movie that was kind of similar too, called uh, Gor, Gor, Gorana. Gor, Gor, we'll look at it in a second. We'll look at my Netflix in a second. Oh, we'll look at it. Listen to him get more frightened as he speeds up as if he's being chased before the camera cuts out. Which means that he's very, very deep inside the catacombs. So basically, he's filming what he's seeing very deep inside the catacombs. Other than the point of view shots, or pictures of human bones. Ooh. The catacombs for centuries. <gasps> what so is that? These paintings uh, that we may be able to retrace his itinerary to some extent. That's a painting? Jesus, titties. After about four. We hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and deeper into the You gotta wear yourself out, buddy. And all of a sudden, we hear his breathing get louder and louder, uh, as though something was scaring him. He was, he's, he's frightened, he's frightened. Occasionally he stops, perhaps, to try to decide which way to run among all the many different corridors. He's running faster and faster and faster, deeper and okay. deeper into the catacombs. And all of a sudden... He drops his camera. This video camera... Number three. Okay. This is a special time. 
Many people have seen it, but choose to not reference the ad intentionally. Ew. The little baby's ice cream commercial that will haunt your nightmares forever. <laughs> Number two. Oh my Subway Go. God! <laughs> I would never buy ice cream from them. Anyways. A segment from a 2008 Japanese found footage horror anthology movie called Ura Horror. Teenagers are in a restaurant and that's a yokai. An that's what they're called, I believe. Yokai. Just as a pale figure appears in the background. Later on the subway tracks, they smell the offending odor again and see the strange woman across the tracks who killed herself Ooh, by jumping in front of the train. Oh, she is creepy, dude. Ah. Oh, I don't like her. Oh, oh she's. Oh, I hate. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I Number hate that. One, sad Ugh. Satan. A maze game that has bizarre Ugh. flashes. Of a Japanese horror hits me in a way I don't like, man. I swear. That's why it's hard. Like when they when they got like the top ten Japanese scary ghost videos. I those are so hard for me to watch. They just hit me at a different level than the regular stuff. So I know some people are scared. Like regular, uh, what's regular um, paranormal stuff. They're like, oh my god. But when it comes to Japanese shit, it's just at a new level. Like Japanese know how to make shit creepy they know what the fuck they're doing man they really do and it just ugh, it just gives you the gives you the wellies let's see what sad satan is of black and white All photography about. as well as disturbing audio samples from real life controversial figures in history no one knows the purpose of the game and one of the creepy in-game children will eventually begin following you causing contact damage and ending the game what What is it talking about? Children come after you? And kill you? That? I don't get it. Wait, and it just ends like that? Sandbox 10, you need to, oh, look at that, say? Say they just, Japanese things just know how to be creepy. But, um, Sandbox 10, you gotta end it better. You don't just go boop, done. Come on, man. Be like, and check out my other videos or something like that. I mean, I don't end it like that. I just do like a fade out, you know? That's just me, though. That is just me. That looks freaking weird. You know what? You know what? I think we're going to be looking at this one on another video. And I'll see you all next video because I'm going to cut out of this one. I'm going to go into this one. And you're going to be like, oh, look at that. There's no video. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Goodbye.